The slum of Kibera is one of the largest in Africa. More than 400,000 people are crammed into a space the size of New York's Central Park. But for AKU nursing graduate Lucia Bayenza, it's simply home. Just 25 years old, the seer has already faced a lifetime of challenges. This is the one who has passed away, and my brother. Two brothers and a sister have died, and now she helps raise seven orphaned nephews and nieces. What is the value, the place value of digit five? They know that they can overcome the burdens they face because she has. Sometimes I study and then the paraffin goes off, but uh, I have another alternative uh, of using a candle. So with those kind of uh, situation, there was nothing that was going to stop me from finishing my homework. <laughs> Each day, the seer makes the half-hour walk from her home to the Bugatti State Hospital. Here, she cares for patients with AIDS, most of them from Kibera, who often have to share their hospital bed with others. For me, I try to, to make them understand that uh, we are there for them. The fight is also mine, too. For all its problems, hope and faith still persists in Kibera. You have seen that uh, we, we have been having a lot of uh, sessions on HIV AIDS, like yesterday. Despite the immense claims on her time, from her family, her work and her studies, the CEO Bayanza always makes time to mentor the youth group at her church in Kibera. So it was a good moment for me to, to talk to you and tell you that uh, you've really done well and uh, I'm really grateful about it. Please do congratulate yourself. <laughs> I've been able just to say I can do better, I can be a better nurse, I can be even the chief nurse in this country. It doesn't matter where I come from, it is only yeah, uh, to, to remain focused and to be able to expose yourself to many potentials within myself and just to feel confident that uh, the, the sky is the, is the limit.